Welcome in everyone to Watch Night 2021. We're so excited to have you streaming with us tonight online. I am your host, Joshua Hamas, uh, here at the Dwelling Place Church in Pensacola, Florida. I'm a network minister uh, and a part of the Dwelling Place Church. We're so glad to have you here tonight. Well, due to COVID-19 restrictions between Canada and the United States, we've decided to stream online only tonight. But you know, that doesn't stop the word of the Lord. Tonight, you're going to hear a lot of amazing prophetic words come forth. So just prepare your hearts, prepare your minds to receive. And in order to do that, we're going to go into a little bit of worship.
most important thing that we need to focus on in our life, and that is reaching the person of God. You see, when you take the stones that the enemy has been throwing at you and you build an altar out of them, you rob the enemy of the ability to discourage you. Going through a tough time, if things maybe are difficult, uh, we need to really understand who we are, seated in heavenly places, but also that we really are just passing through. It's not always going to be the drastic dream, and it's not always going to be the open vision, and it's not always going to be a prophetic word from a prophet, right, saying, thus saith the Lord. It's about walking that out and learning how to walk in the Spirit and that gifting. Say, Jesus, that knows that I still believe. Oh, when I say Jesus, your enemies start running away from you. Thanks for being here and being a part of Watch Night 2021 with us. Now, I want to stop for a moment and I wanna offer you an opportunity to sow into Eagle Worldwide Ministries. Now, if Eagle Worldwide Ministries has been something special to you through this year and any year prior, then I encourage you to sow a seed into this ministry. Now, real quickly, I'm gonna tell you what happened to me and Brandy and our family back at the end of last year. At the end of last year, we were able to go see my parents for a few days. And I used to live in, in one of my parents' houses. They have two houses right next door to each other in North Alabama. And while we were there, I had a day where I was able to go and I just kind of spent the day just listening to the Lord, seeing what he had to say and praying and uh, nobody has stayed in the house next door uh, for the last like six or seven years since we moved down here. And uh, so me and Kyle and Andrew were able to go next door. And I just had this weird inkling in the back of my, uh, my, the back of my spirit to check the mailbox. Now, it's really odd. The house has been vacant since I lived there. So I remember Andrew ran across the street. Uh, he's my 10-year-old. And uh, he checked the mailbox. And sure enough, there was a letter in the mailbox. And he handed it to me. What the strange part of that was, was there was a check inside of there. And I heard the Lord speak to me, this is seed for the dream. It's seed for the dream. So I knew that money, even though it was in that mailbox, was not for me. And I knew I needed to give it. Well, it being at the end of the year, I sowed it into Watch Night's 2020 service that we had at the end of 2019. And let me tell you something. I planted that seed as part of the destiny and the call that the Lord has placed on mine and Brandy's heart. And I'm telling you, through the course of 2020, the Lord has just come through at every moment. When we thought we didn't have enough, the Lord came through with something. So we had more than enough each and every time. So I'm encouraging you to do the same tonight. Sow a seed towards the dream. If we're moving into a year where we're gonna pursue the things that the Lord wants us to pursue, then we've got to have faith and step out boldly. So tonight, if you've got that, ask the Lord how much that you should give. And I just encourage you to plant that seed and give that seed. We're so excited to have our Eagle Worldwide ministry partners on with us tonight, as well as our international coalition of prophetic leaders as we go through tonight's prophetic words within Eagle Worldwide Ministries. So, without further ado, let's get started with our very own Dr. Russ Moyer. He's the CEO and President of Eagle Worldwide Ministries. Let's see what he has to say, ringing in the new year. It is an honor and a privilege to be part of the Night Watch service and Watch Night service here at Eagle Worldwide Ministries. This is about 18 years that we've been doing this, and I want to wish all of you a Happy, healthy, and prosperous New Year. The Lord began to work on my heart about this word in Rosh Hashanah and even beyond, and declaring and proclaiming it, prophesying it, and preaching parts of it. So this is the word of the Lord in my heart 
for 2021. This is the year of the divine reset. It's going to get worse before it gets better. It's going to get much worse before it gets better. But we are headed toward a great victory. It's time for the remnant to arise and shine. The hand and the favor of the Lord is going to be upon his remnant in his hour and season as he begins a call to arms and a call to battle, a call to war. We've taken a giant step into the fulfillment of end time prophecy. Note that even the present situations will prompt a quickening and an acceleration of time and circumstance. We're going to begin to see waves and the waves are going to come quicker. Know that we are in the midst of a worldwide full chaos and anarchy now, end time prophecy being fulfilled before our eyes. The Lord will make a path forward in the midst of all of this. For those that he's called out and those that have replied, yes, they'll go. No, those that have eyes to see and ears to hear will be the ones that move forward in this hour and season. Know that in the midst of everything that's going on, Note that this moment is also pregnant with tremendous opportunity. And those that hear, those that see the heart of the Lord in this hour and season will be part of that that births in this new hour, the new birthing that we've been waiting for, the new wineskin and the new wine. This season will see further persecution of the church with trials and tribulations. But that will birth the greatest harvest ever known to man. The enemy will not prevail against us. 2021, we'll see the church truly begin an action phase, an awakening of the army of the Lord. As we begin to step into a spiritual revolution and a holy war, an army that marches on its knees, intercessors and prayer warriors are being raised up and united and networked together in this hour and season. They're coming from the background to the forefront. They're getting off the floor and preparing for war. Now is the time to report for duty, as many will cross over in this hour and season from different areas of life and step into their posture and place to be birthed into their destiny. Another chapter of War and Roses, where the power, the presence, and the love of God will prevail in the battle of good and evil that's raging all over the earth. Get ready for an eye-opening experience. He is again unveiling and revealing darkness and hidden mysteries of the season. Personal prayer and intimacy will birth a new breed of leader that knows their God and will do mighty exploits. Unity in the body of Christ is to cry on the heart of the Lord in this hour and his prayer for all of us in John 17. The plumb line has dropped once again in the body of Christ and the purging and purification process will continue in both the church and the world. The true remnant will be revealed and are about to enter into a time of true unity, not compromising our purpose, our cause, our principles, or our core values. Unity that's based on the foundational truths of the word of God. It will break the back of the spirits of deception and division that have plagued us in this past season. Know that there are five things in this moment, in this hour, in this season, in this year that God is kissing. Outreach and power evangelism, discipleship and mentoring. Third, home church and cell groups. Four, virtual and online, five-fold apostolic ministries, networks and coverings. Know that this is an hour and a moment and a season when things are going to begin to happen quickly, accelerating quickly, one wave after another. Both good and evil are going to rise up in this hour and season. It's a time to be bold and courageous, a time to be very bold and very courageous. Arise and go to the forefront. The 11th hour workers are being called even now, processed in the, in the very heart of God. In the furnace of adversity, the leaders are rising up, focusing on discipleship and mentoring. The year 2021 will be the year of the comeback. He said, go ye, pursue and recover all. Power and personal evangelism platforms and ministries will be launched and developed that will reach a dark and broken world with the message of the gospel of the kingdom through signs, wonders, and miracles. A great move of the spirit of evangelism and healing that has never been seen before in the history of the church. No, for Eagle Worldwide Canada, lean, mean, and stream. 
put it on autopilot for the next few months, know that this is a time of preparing, preparation, positioning, and then we'll be shifting into high gear. Get ready for a staging and a liftoff, a refocusing, reigniting and reuniting around the vision and the heart of God for revival and so much more in this new season. No, it's the new move. It's the new move of the spirit that we're pressing into in this hour and season. Press in, step in, step up, step out. Now is the time. Eagle Worldwide USA, outreach, souls, revival, restoration, reconciliation, new start, new heart for the harvest. The harvest is here. The harvest is now birthing, birthing, and more birthing. A season of building and burning bridges. This is it. This is it now. It's here. Not four months, not six months. It's now. Wake up, everybody. For it's our hour and a season to arise and shine for their remnant to walk out and step into their destiny, says the Lord. And coming up next, we have our very own Pastor Maeve Moyer. Now, Pastor Maeve is also the CEO and founder of Eagle Worldwide Ministries. So let's take a moment and see what is on her heart for 2021. Well, praise the Lord. Here we are at the start of 2021. And if you're anything like me, you're glad to see that 2020 has passed and we are starting a whole new year. You know, so many people had so much controversy over the year of the, uh, the word for the year of the Lord of 2020, how it was God's perfect timing and vision. But I can tell you that God certainly tuned us up in 2020 to see things his way and to have a new perspective on the truth and God's timing in all things. So I trust that through the past tw year of 2020, you learned like I learned what's most important to God and how we should see things through his eyes. As I began to seek him for the word for 2021, the Lord spoke to me and he said, have patience in the process because we're still in the midst of the process. He said, there's a righteous remnant rising and God is in a time of preparedness for us to be ready to do what God has called us to do. He said, the darkness is upon us, but the entrance of his word brings light. And this will be a year that even though the enemy would try to keep us muzzled again, the word of God will come forth in a sharp way that will cut through to the joint and to the marrow. And it will separate us from our own flesh in this year. The Lord said, do not fear, do not allow anxiety to operate or entertain unbelief in this season. Use your authority. He said, there's a testing that's happening, but it's to the very intentions of your heart in this ongoing season. Trust me and trust the process. He said, don't buy into the lie. He said, look in the natural and you will see only defeat but begin to look in the spirit and you will see all things work together for good. He said, speak life in this season, speak, speak victory. Do not allow yourself to use the tool of your tongue and the power of your own voice to agree with defeat. Stand for truth. Do not buy into the lie and be led only by my word in this season, not by your feelings and emotions. It's more important than you know, the Lord said to me at this time, that you're willing to continue to support the ongoing vision and the plan for the kingdom. The Lord showed me that many had fallen away in their giving last year because they weren't at an actual service. And the Lord says in this season, we have to begin to see the vision once again, have eyes that are open to what God is doing, even in these dark times. For the Lord said, nothing is out of his reach and nothing is out of his hand. And the Lord said, as we're faithful continue to continue to give and sow in the season ahead, we will reap in abundance. He said, as you enter into sow time, it's going to bring a quick show time. He said, whatever we are giving and saying and doing in this season will have a quick reward and reaping time. 2020 was a year for us to see things from God's perspective, the real truth. He gave us a supernatural understanding in the midst of the storm, what's important and valuable and should be our priority. The Lord spoke and said, did you see me in the midst of all things or did you buy into the lie that evil would somehow prevail? 
He said, I am that I am, and I always will be, and I'm with you always and in all ways. As 2021 comes into, into play, he said, pay no heed to the enemy and do not believe what you hear spoken through the airwaves. Do not take hold of the lie that has been packaged and repackaged, but rather press in by faith to receive the words that I have spoken. You must choose to trust me. You must choose to trust my word. And you must choose to tune out the world's word in this season. Stop being caught between two opinions and stand up with holy boldness through the power of your example. I want you to empower others to believe me. Don't allow your faith to be diminished or limited by listening to the prophets of Baal that are broadcasting through the world system and the prince of the power of the air. They are shouting and declaring their demonic plan into action. But take hold of my word and begin to see and decree and establish the things that are from me. Take hold of my word and speak things into being that you're not yet seeing. Don't be moved by the counterfeit celebration and jubilation of the enemy as they mock and meddle and ridicule. And they proclaim loud and clear that they don't need me. The Lord says there's about to be a showdown and I'm about to have my way. You must choose to see me in the midst of all of this and stand in faith that I am and I can. The devil has an agenda, and just as that failed and was foiled in the past, it will be foiled again as the fire of heaven falls on the plots and plans of the enemy and burns up the prophets of Baal once again. Do not allow your faith to be frustrated. Do not be discouraged through the midst of the test, for it is in the waiting that your heart is revealed, and you will enter into a new trust in me, and you will let go of the fallacies of man. Don't be confused. Don't allow this situation to be a reason that you would question me. I am, and I am about to show my hand and settle the score as I reveal the supernatural ace that's tucked up my sleeve. 2020, it revealed many hidden horror, horrors and hard hearts, many who said they believed, many who gave lip service to me, but now it's clearly evidenced that they did not clearly see and they did not follow me. You will be surprised as you begin to see those who deceive and have been deceived that are planted even in the midst of the assembly, those who are coming against the ones who are coming against the lie and they're standing for truth and waiting for it to be revealed. You have witnessed many pastors and even ministers of the gospel make altar calls in the morning, crying out with passion for sinners to receive Jesus while indulging in indul adulterous affairs and other hidden sinful behaviors, things that were covered for by an inner circle of accomplices to this crime before my altars. But the Lord said these things are being revealed to bring healing to the body. Judgment has started in the house of the Lord, and it will continue till all hidden things are revealed. 2021, it's a year of process, and those who are faithful to follow will make it through, and they will receive the promise. Arise and shine, for the light of your glory has come, and the righteous remnant will take their place. They will arise and be empowered and fully moved by the power of my grace. This will be a year where all, all things will come to be, all things that were fashioned and formed by me. Hold on to my plans and let go of all the thoughts of the enemy, for this is a season that you will process through to your promise, says the Lord. And coming up next is our very own Pastor Patty Wallace. Now, Pastor Patty and her husband Alex are the head pastors of the Revival Center in Canada. Uh, Patty is also the administrator over Eagle Worldwide Ministries of Canada and very special to our ministry. So let's see what's on her heart for 2021. I heard the Lord say the words global economic shift and global prayer shift, both shall be in this season for 2021. But see how I will arise and work in and through my people in the midst of both calamity and chaos. In the coming days, says the Lord, I'm going to put you in touch with heaven's economy even as things have seen a shift and a switch in the world, my people will have a greater revelation of faith, living by faith, and trusting me, even in the face of adversity. 
Faith is the currency of heaven, and I'm getting ready to unfurl heaven's timepiece and heaven's provision even in the season ahead as things shift politically, globally. So I am causing a global prayer shift. Hurricanes and happenings and happenings and hurricanes, says the Lord, in the natural and in the spiritual. But I am your safe harbor, says the Lord. Prayer shall shift things, but even in the midst of my body, you shall be built, you shall be strengthened, molded, you're entering a bodybuilding season. But remember, my body will move mountains, and there will be a mountain-moving faith that arises and is displayed during this season. Some might say political upheaval, but I am bringing order, and I am bringing my kingdom to bear. My kingdom is coming, and my will is being done. Enter 2021 with great faith. Great faith, says the Lord. Speak things that are not as though they were, and get ready for history in the making in 2021. We've had so many good prophetic words tonight. Now it's time to hear from Pastor Alex Wallace from the Revival Center. Pastor Alex has also been with the ministry for quite a while. And so let's go to him, see what he has to say for 2021. The word of the Lord for 2021. The word to the church. The Lord says to get ready for truly this is the hour where I'm demonstrating the church even as a sign and a wonder. Even as the darkness is flooded upon the earth, and even as that that is even depression and discouragement and fear and panic have even come even upon the earthly realm, the Lord says, get ready, for I've set the stage, and I'm allowing my church to come forward even in the race. They're going to say, what is that? I've never seen it that way. That's my church. That's my bride. That's even the ministry that I've allocated, even the ministry that I've designed for these even last days, says the Lord. You're going to even see what's underneath the hood. For the Lord says, I've been birthing even in the intercessory realm. I've been birthing even in the hearts of the people. I've been formulating the things that are in your belly. And even in the hour that we're in, says the Lord, I'm going to manifest a church that is red hot. I'm going to manifest a church that is equipped for the race. But not only equipped for the race, I'm going to manifest a church that is even, even going to win the race. Even a church that is equipped with my power. Get ready, says the Lord. Signs, wonders, and miracles are even that that are a hallmark even in my church in 2021. And now the word of the Lord for Eagle Worldwide Ministries. The Lord says, even my children, I've been doing even that that is structural change. I've been doing structural changes in the way that you look and structural change in the way that you fit. For the Lord says, your, your assignment is even that that is extending on. Your assignment is even that that's going forward. The Lord says, I've called you even as the special team forces. I've called you even for the prophetic, the, the espionage. I've called you even for one that would bring the breaker anointing. And the Lord says you're carrying the breaker anointing with a new impetus, a breaker anointing, even to go forward, even to raise hell, even to shake apart, even that that the enemy has been building up. For the Lord says, I've called you to penetrate deeper into the enemy's realm. I've called you to penetrate deeper into the realm of that that is a prison. The Lord said, I've called you even as special forces to go into the prison realm, even to liberate captives, even to set captives free. Get ready, says the Lord provision even for the vision is even that that's upon even this ministry says the Lord get ready finances get ready anointing get ready prophetic get ready signs and wonders eagle worldwide this is an hour where I'm calling you forward to take new ground says the Lord coming up next we now have pastor Joanna Adams now, Joanna has been with Eagle Worldwide Ministry for quite some time. She's over the deliverance ministry of Eagle Worldwide, and she is also the head pastor of The Nest. Let's listen in. Hi, my name is Joanna Adams, and I have a word for you for 2021. I heard the Lord say that 2021 will be a year of reset, resetting priorities and mindsets in the body of Christ. A change of direction is at hand. No longer your way, his way is the only way. I heard the Lord say that it's a time, it's time now to answer the high call, and the high call requires the straight and narrow way. I heard the Lord say that he's going to make things brand new for you. Even as a computer can be reset 
back to its original mode. He is resetting you back to the original plan and design for you from the beginning. I heard him say, the reset is a new wineskin. New wine, new ways, new opportunities, new strategies, new view, and a new you. If your prayer life had not been awakened in 2020, it will be in 2021. The Lord says it's time to pray and it's time to awaken to his ways to make a priority, intimacy and intercession. There's no other way around it and there's no other strategy that's going to work but spending time with the Lord. So I just want to encourage you for 2021 to press in. It's his way, not your way. It's got to be his way, and it's got to be a time to pray like never before. He has something absolutely new. He wants to reset you. God bless you. We're going to keep the prophetic words going for you tonight. Right now, we're going to listen in to Pastor Harpery and Susie. Now, Harpree and Susie are head pastors of His Glory House. They've been a son and a daughter in Eagle Worldwide Ministries for quite a long time. We're glad to have them as pastors. Let's listen in. Hi, this is the word of the Lord for the uh, year 2021. I hear in this, in this, in this season, the Lord is saying, we, He's creating an army and to march forward. In, um, army that knows who they are. Army that knows their rightful position. Army that hears from the Lord and move forward. I hear, in the, I hear the Lord is saying in this season that the wet wood, will be on fire the thing which is which is the the things which are impossible the lord is saying in this season will be possible the lord is saying in this season the wells will be digged out the wells that that we thought in 2020 are are being packed but this season that those wells will be digged out in 2021 this is a season of show up and show out this is a season of uh, having a right place at a right time and the glory of the lord will begin to move this is the year of 2021 this is the year where the glory of the lord will begin to take over this is the year of 2021 where the miracles begin to happen. Many nations, many lives will be restored. This is the year where there'll be healing and restoration begin to take the hearts of the people. That's what we're believing for this year. And this year there will be so many, um, so many men and women will take their rightful position and know, get back into their identity and get back to the assignment that the Lord has spoken to them. This is the year of breakthrough and turnaround and shift. Amen. Hi everyone, this is the word of the Lord for 2021. I believe this is a year where we're learning as the body of Christ to be silent. God's putting a watch guard over our mouth because this is the year where the Lord will vindicate for us, where he will go before and release a host of angels to go before us and to behind us. This is the year where we um, watch what we speak, um, not to be silent, but a year when we speak as he gives us utterance, as prophetic, prophetic voices, and also to be silent because he is warring for us. I also believe that there is a great spirit of God that's coming that's going to do a further sifting in the body of Christ. And the sifting may be like the Israelites where they had to endure the 10 plagues uh, through that season. They endured the 10 plagues, but it did not affect them. I believe in this 2021, there will be some great things that will take place, some devastating things that will take place. But just like the Israelites, we will come out untouched. We will come out as conquerors. We will come out victorious. Um, I also believe that in this 2021, that the children, the young children are going to be released in a great way to prophesy, lay hands on the yes. sick, they shall dream dreams. I believe the glory of the Lord is going to fall on all flesh in the kingdom of God. I believe it's a season where it's not just a church, but it's a kingdom work. It is not about um, our titles or things that we have in place, but it's about him taking over and putting us in front to do what he's called us to do. And that was another fantastic prophetic word. You know, it's really good to see all these prophetic words and how they come together and how you can really see the heart of God through them. Well, coming up next, we have Miss Linda Cove, and she is an Eagle Worldwide member. Now, Miss Linda has been with the ministry for many years, and she's served in a lot of different roles within the ministry. She's very near and dear to our hearts. So let's see what she has to say for 2021. I saw a rough diamond, and I heard the Lord say, diamonds were made before the world began under extreme heat and extreme pressure. And I chose you from the beginning of time. 
I planned out every day of your life. I saw you in the beginning before I did anything else. You were birthed in my heart, says the Lord. And I have been cutting off the edges and polishing you ready to put you on display for a world that desperately needs to see something beautiful. And you are precious and beautiful in my sight. Never forget that a diamond has no color or beauty of its own, but simply reflects the light that is shone upon it. The cutting and the polishing have produced in you many beautiful facets that reflect my glory to a lost and dying world. So come close to me and stay close so that my light will shine through you, so that my glory will be seen through you and reach a lost world. I chose you for such a time as this. It is not time to give up. It's not time to go back. It's all my promises are true, and you will achieve all that I have set before you to do. If you will just stay close, that's all you have to do, and allow my glory to shine through you. Fear not that the task set before you seems impossible or improbable, for I have already made a way where there seems to be no way. Even the things this year that you have lost or have been taken away from you in this season gone, they are about to be restored. It's time to recover all. Not only are you being set up and put in place to recover all, but I am sending you into the enemy's camp to take back what he has stolen, not only from you and your generation, but I'm going to use you to take back the spoils that were stolen from others, those that are too weak to go into the battle, those that cannot fight for themselves. <clears throat> Get ready to face every obstacle with faith and confidence. I am with you, and I have planned for you to shine at such a time as this. I saw towers made of glass, and many prisoners were held captive inside the towers. They could see out, but they were dreadfully despondent and discouraged because they couldn't break out. And the Lord says, I am about to use you to shatter their bondage, just like a, sh a diamond shatters glass. Do not fear to make the right choices, and do not make wrong choices because you fear the consequences, I am able to get you where you need to go and provide all that you need regardless of what man tries to do to you. Trust me, for I am able and willing to bless you and all those that come in contact with you. Not a little, but abundantly, says the Lord. Pressed down, shaken together and overflowing so that there is more to give. For Israel, I heard the Lord say, the winds of change are blowing hard, and it is going to be a difficult season up ahead for them. But they will emerge victorious. Pray. Pray for Israel. Pray for the leaders. Pray for the world leaders. And allow my glory to shine through you, says the Lord. I hope you're enjoying all of these prophetic words for 2021. We're going to keep them rolling right now with our very own Katie Barker. Katie Barker is our administrator here at the Dwelling Place Church in Pensacola, Florida. She's a huge asset to our ministry. Let's see what she has to say. I got this word on uh, December 15th of 2020. <clears throat> I hear the Lord say, the dawn is about to break forth. Set your face toward the horizon. Lift your weary head, saint, for that which you have labored for in the midnight hour is about to come forth with the first light of dawn. For those things which have been hidden, those secret things concealed in the dark, will be made plain with the dawn of a new day. But know that judgment is first coming to my house. Those things that have been revealed are but the tip of the iceberg. For many have turned from their wicked ways in these days, yet many have hardened their hearts during this hour. But the night is about to break forth in a glorious dawn, and all that the light touches will be revealed. There is not a man nor a nation that will be kept from this coming light. I will have a holy people. Even now the sheep and the goats are being divided, the wheat and the tares separated. But know that I alone judge the hearts of men. I alone am God Almighty, searching the thoughts, the actions, the motives, and the minds of man. 
Repent now, wash your hands, clean your hearts, for a time is coming and is now on the horizon with the dawning of the sun, that what is not confessed will be revealed before all men. Again, I say, repent, for I will have a holy people. Righteousness will be your banner, for I am coming for a spotless bride. Hurry, saints, without reservations. Bow now, not just your knee for men to see, but your hearts before me. The time of games and postponement of tomorrow is no more. The hour is short, and tomorrow is not promised you. Again, I say, repent, for I will have a holy people. There is much to be done as the day begins to dawn. The light that is being shown and the things revealed will send the world into utter chaos. Cataclysmic events will send the lost in droves to my church. People will search for answers. They're desperate will drive even the hardest of hearts to my altars. When these things happen, do not be afraid and do not fear, for I command the nations and the kingdoms of the world. I know every hair on your head and my name is faithful. So do not fear. Live in peace and love all that I send, for they will not yet have the peace you abide in, but they will. Again, I say, do not fear. Meditate on my word. Pray in the spirit. Dwell not on the circumstances around you, but keep your eyes fixed on me, your hearts pure, and your mind on my promises. For I say, every word will be fulfilled just as I have said. Thus saith the Lord God Almighty. Amen. And that was another fantastic prophetic word. It's getting better and better as the night is going on. So now we're gonna go to Frank Simmons, who is a part of our church here at the Dwelling Place in Pensacola. Now Frank Simmons is also one of our elders along with his wife. And so let's go to Frank and see what he has to say. Uh, Hello, I got this prophecy in November the 27th and the 29th of this year. Skillful. The dwelling place is going to become skillful on using the keys of the kingdom I have put in your hands. There's going to be a fit. You're going to know which key fits in which door and have the discernment to know how to use them. You're going to know when to lock the door and when to open it. And you're going to know the right time to put the key in the door. Strategic. The kingdom of God is advancing worldwide like never before. There will be no more staying behind closed doors. Faith will arise and fear will disappear and my people will heed the call for my coming is drawing near and the things of this world will lose their appeal. Moving up higher. For those who have been faithful in the small things, promotion time is here. The shift is in high gear as the finish line draws near. Baptism will be a common occurrence as people die to their old way of living and embrace the one that's loved them from the beginning. Weapons. Weapons of mass deliverance are being set in place as I pour out my love and grace. Prayer shall become the order of the day, for my house will once again be a house of prayer. As you pray in the Spirit, you will move in the Spirit. And as you meditate on my word, my fire will burn in your bones. And the world will know that I am the one who came to die on the cross and rose victoriously over death, hell, and the grave. Surrender. Many from the occult will flee the darkness and come to the light of my true church. They will burn their books and cast aside their vain practices. For they will see the power of God at work manifested for all to see, and they will understand that God's love is more powerful than the devil's hate. The harvest. Those who have sown much will reap much. Those who have sown in the spirit will reap a harvest of righteousness, peace, and joy. Those who have sown into my work will reap the fruits of their labor. Those who have given much will reap abundance, Those who have sought my face in prayer will reap my presence. Those who have been obedient to my word will receive the blessings of my word. Those who have interceded for the nations will have a hedge of protection surrounding you and your family. Those who honor me will be honored. Those who listen to my voice and take heed will hear me say, well done, good and faithful servant. Enter into the joy of the Lord. 
All right, coming up next, we have Miss Margaret Simmons. Now, Miss Margaret Simmons is one of our elders at the Dwelling Place Church in Pensacola, Florida. Let's see what she has on her heart for this next year. This is a prophetic word with a parable that I received on December the 10th, 2020. The Lord says, no matter what it looks like in the United States of America, I am faithful and I will keep my covenant with her. Wait patiently in faith. I am working. As I pondered these words, the following analogy came to mind. So stay with me as I explain. A festering infected wound is painful as is the process of cleaning out the infection so healing can occur. The infection goes deep, especially if it has been there a long time. The wound has to be opened and drained, sometimes more than once. The wound is debrided or dead tissue removed. It's a painful process, but necessary to get to the foundation of healthy tissue with good blood supply. It takes time. Often the wound is left open to heal from the inside out instead of being sutured closed. Another word for infection is corruption. Corruption has been going on in the United States for a long time, decades. Now it has reached the point of eruption and must be drained completely. There may be some debriding or cutting away of people, policies, practices, etc. And this can be painful emotionally and mentally. The process may be slow, but necessary to do a thorough cleansing so the nation can get back to its healthy foundation, which is the covenant our founding fathers made with God. They said, we will be your people and you will be our God. So be encouraged. God is working. Stay in faith and focused on his promises. He is working, he is faithful, and as Pastor Maeve has said recently, there is a process to the promise. It has been an honor and a privilege for me to have been a son in the house of Eagle Worldwide Ministries for the last three years. Um, the, the prophetic ministry has just completely changed the landscape of my entire family, like even my children. My children even get words from the Lord. Now, my wife, Brandy, and I were able to sit down earlier this week and share the word that the Lord gave us for 2021. Here it is now. Hey everyone, it's me, Josh, and my wife, Brandy Hamas, here in our home uh, to give you the prophetic word that the Lord put on our hearts uh, for this coming year. Uh, and so, um, so back on the morning of January the 1st of this year, 2020, uh, the Lord had given me a dream actually pertaining to this entire year that we just went through. Um, but I began to analyze that dream a little bit further, and I also believe that there were details in there uh, for 2021. Um, in a nutshell, uh, the dream had detailed a storm that was rolling in and how it eventually had blown past us and it crossed over to the other side of the mountain. Um, once the storm had passed, there were firefighters, there were police, uh, and there were news reporters that began to cheer that the storm was finally over. And then the dream then cut and I was in the parking lot of a television station where I worked. Some of us were talking about how big the story was on the storm and how dangerous it was out there. And I believe that the storm actually pertained to COVID-19 uh, and it could have also pertained to Hurricane Sally, which we also went through this year uh, here in Pensacola. Um, now, next in the dream, I remember hearing some saying that they were promoted and going to their brand new assignments. Uh, I made the comment that I missed working in radio in the dream and would love to jump back into it, but I just didn't know if I could. Now, I believe that this is where we're moving into as we enter 2021. Those that are answering the call of the Lord and being sensitive to His moving are about to enter into their new assignments. 
Jumping back into radio, to me, actually meant that there's going to be a heavy need for evangelism and outreach in 2021 because radio actually pertains to broadcasting the voice of the Lord over a rather large area. So I believe that evangelism and outreach and things like that, and I had another dream too that actually confirmed that as well, um, is going to be a really big thing in 2021. All right, for the Lord would say, Hold true to the dreams and visions that I have given you over the course of 2020. For this has looked like a season of on hold, but really it has been a season of preparation for the plans and purposes that I have planted in your hearts. Preparation of the heart, preparation of the soul, and preparation of the mind is what is to come. Many of you are about to step into something new, something unfamiliar, and something that only I can give you vision and strength to accomplish. Make yourself ready, your heart, mind, and your soul, for you must be whole in every area of your life. With these new tasks are going to come challenges, but nothing that I cannot give you strategy for, says the Lord. New responsibilities and new schedules will need to take shape as you move into your destiny. I will show you the way and surrender you with the people necessary to walk these things out. Keep your eyes and ears open. Stay alert, says the Lord. If you haven't tied up the loose ends of your heart, now would be the time to do so. The clock is ticking. Forgive where there needs to be forgiveness. Release what needs to be released. And loose yourselves from any darkness that has infiltrated your heart in 2020. <clears throat> For 2021 is going to be a year of divine judgment from the throne. For the Lord would say you must go into 2021 knowing who you are and whose you are. For your identity must be strongly rooted in me. Your identity is not found in what you do, for that is just the fruit of who you are. <clears throat> this year will be a year of interdependency, as you will not be able to accomplish what I'm calling you to do on your own. I am calling forth my body to work together, just as I have designed it to. Everyone has something that they can bring to the table that will give the church as a whole the boost that it needs to bring forth the stamina for evangelism, outreach, prophetic worship and preaching, teaching, and shaping the new form that I am bestowing upon the church. 2021 will not be church as usual, as I have stripped off the religiosity of years past. This is a new day, a new way, and I am bringing forth the winds of change, even now as you enter into the new season. Lastly, I saw an angel of authority for deliverance that was being released over 2021. There will be a renewed energy and strength to take authority over your lives, your families, your careers, your properties, and every single aspect of your life. Keep that daily covering prayer handy and declare with a fresh authority, freedom is mine in 2021, says the Lord. Amen. Amen. I heard the Lord say that this will be a strategic year of continuation of redefining and realigning. There will be new plans, ministries, jobs, etc. that he will be releasing to his people. A new way to speak, a new way to preach, a new way to teach, a new way to evangelize, a new sound arising from the throne room, says the Lord. But there must be a redefining and realigning. My people must cleanse themselves and get right with me. They must realign with my presence in this year. December 5th, I had a dream. In my dream, Josh and I was in his Jeep. Josh was in the driver's seat. I yelled, stop, Josh, look at that. It was a beautiful blue open portal in a perfect circle. We sat and watched till it began to disappear. Then I saw what seemed to be thousands of jets, the shadow of thousands of jets. I was like, where is that coming from? And we looked up to the other side um, and there were as we were driving and we saw thousands of jets. I immediately was terrified. We kept driving and I remember seeing this older lady in the dream. She seemed to be terrified as well. I'm not sure if we got out at this lady's house, but I remember driving again and seeing the beautiful open portal. Jeep represents a pioneering spirit or a Tyranian. The open portal represents a revelation of provision being poured out. It also means doorway, gate, or entrance. The jets represent powerful ministries and the fact that I was afraid. At first in this dream, I thought that I was afraid, but I was like, why would I be afraid, Lord? And he began to say that it wasn't me who was afraid. What I was feeling was what I was about to come up on, which was the older lady who was afraid in the dream. 
The fact that the lady in the dream was older, she represents the church at whole. The lady, the church, was afraid to step into the powerful ministries, jobs, and plans that God had revealed to his church. I feel like the beginning of 2021 will be a lot of revealing his plans and purposes and ministries to his people. But this is a warning to shake off the fear and step out into the call that he has for your life. Someone out there needs your obedience. I feel that now up until the fall of 2021 is the open door and the continuation of redefining and realigning his people. Being I saw a portal at the end, I believe it represents our obedience to re redefining and realigning and cleansing as we are now ready to go through the open gate. Amen. That's, that's awesome. Um, well, we hope these words have touched your heart. I know there's a lot of prophetic words tonight. Uh, let's just pray on them, meditate on them, and see what God has for us in 2021. Coming up next, we're going to hear from Landon Jeffers. He's a part of the worship team here at the Dwelling Place. Now, Landon, I've known him personally for about 14, 15 years. He's a very powerful man for the Lord. Let's see what's on his heart. Uh, I've had a vision for this coming year for 2021 back around the time of the new, new year of the Jewish calendar. And the vision I had at that point in time was I saw a blacksmith standing over North America and Canada. The fire part of where he would stick the iron in the fire and I was on the U.S. side, the water was on the Canadian side. And he, could, he would take it, beat on the iron, stick it in the fire, stick it in the water, look at it, process, you know, continue on. It looked like he was making a sword. Um, and in that same point in time, he continued to do this two or three times. Then the scene changed in the vision that I had. And in the vision I saw, I saw it to where there was four portals in North America. And they were all in strategic, lo strategic locations. Excuse me. And the locations where they were at were where past revivals had taken place. During that point in time, while I was seeing this in the background, I heard the song, It's Beginning to Rain. The rain would begin to fall. Winds would blow and all like that. And there was a flooding that was taking place. After I saw this, then I heard the word or the Lord speak to me. And he told me, he said, continue to look to me as upheaval will continue. I'm in the process of building my church. Chaos doesn't bother me because I'm in the chaos. Prepare for my return just as it is in scripture. Make sure your wicks are trimmed and waste not your oil. For if you're prepared, you will, for if you're not prepared, you will miss me. For I'm in, for I'm drawing all unto me. Thank you so much again for watching with us tonight here on the Watch Night 2021 service. Now coming up next, another great prophetic word. Last March, Victoria and I were on a missions trip to the Dominican Republic with Mo and Donna. And on a Wednesday afternoon, I was taking a little siesta and when I woke up in the afternoon I clearly heard the Lord say tell my people I'm coming soon folks the Lord is coming soon this pandemic is starting to show and reveal that we are in the end times uh, since then I have been studying about the end times book of Revelation book of Daniel and the Lord has been revealing some things to us uh, but just like in the uh, first coming of the Lord, uh, scriptures, uh, there was a mystery. And, and same with the second coming, there's a mystery that he is revealing. And I'm beginning to understand these things in greater measure. And there's a couple of things that are prophetic here. And I just want to take about two or three minutes just to unpack some things. The Lord showed me that uh, the church will go through the 70th year, the, the tribulation period. Uh, not all the way through, but a portion of it. We will go into the great tribulation after the mid-trib uh, point, um, but we will, we will be raptured before the wrath of God begins, before the, the, uh, the trumpets and the bull judgments, the wrath of God, the church will be raptured. And what we need to do now is we need to be, 
be preparing. We need to be fasting. We, we need to be getting right with the Lord. It's time to repent. This is a season like never before to repent. This is a season that all the prophets are saying, repent ye. This is a time to uh, put our, 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 our walk with the Lord on the line, to, to, uh, to give him our full attention. Today, as I record this uh, prophetic words, uh, is a Monday in Canada, and we have just been placed in lockdown again. Very interesting. Right before Easter, we've been put in a lockdown, and right before Christmas. Christmas has been canceled here in our area of Canada. Uh, it seems very, very uh, um, ironic. And so we can only have 10 people in the sanctuary. Uh, we are, All of our services starting tonight will go online. That just give you a little context to the timing of when I'm speaking this word. Two weeks before this, about, so that'd be about a month before uh, you're going to hear this message, the Lord gave me a word. And it was during one of our services, and he said, it's time for a turnaround. He kept saying, a turnaround. It's a turnaround. And I believe in 2021, we're going to see a turnaround. Things that look one way will begin after the new year, will begin to, to there's, there's going to be a shift and some things are going to fall into place and we're going to see an incredible turnaround. What that looks like, I don't know, but I believe God is going to be, begin to do something supernatural that the church, the government, the, uh, the times that we're living in, there's going to be a turnaround and, and that, that God is not finished and he's going to do something uh, in this coming year. Uh, the real church in this season will arise. Uh, there will be a great falling away. This pandemic has caused uh, shaking and a pruning uh, in our church and in, in the world. There will be some churches that do not come back. There will be some Christians that fall away, um, perhaps not permanently. We believe that God is married to the backslider. We're going to believe for every single person to really give their hearts fully to the Lord. This is a time the church will continue to be shaken. And, uh, but I believe that the greatest days for the church are ahead. Uh, I believe, and I believe the Lord has said, that signs, wonders, and miracles are going to increase. It's going to be a glorious time. We're going to pray for the sick, and we're going to see them recover like never before. Uh, it's going to be a glorious time. It's going to be a difficult time. There's going to be persecution. There's going to be some trials and tribulations. But God is going to be victorious. Amen? Um, there is uh, a scripture uh, in Revelation that talks. It's during the, th the third horseman. It's, it's a famine. There is coming a famine. How close we are to that, I don't know. But the Lord has been telling me to prepare for a famine. And that means we need to take, uh, uh, get some provisions in our house. We need to get a two to four week supply, perhaps longer, of food and water. Uh, this could be something that's happening in the next year. It could be a natural disaster, uh, like a hurricane or, or an ice storm or, or something along those lines. Or it could be an end time scenario, but we need to have uh, preparation. And I believe God in the, um, uh, the book of Revelations... Uh, the, the church of Pergamum, uh, that God says that he will give us some of the hidden manna. And I believe that, that uh, the Lord is going to supernaturally supply, just like he supplied food for, for Elijah, just like he, uh, he uh, undertook for the Israelites in the, in the desert. He provided manna, and, and similar to the uh, miracle of uh, food, the little boy's lunch multiplied. I believe we're going to see God uh, come like never before and provide in the last days. Uh, one thing I would say, I believe we're very close. I'm not sure. We, we could be 25 years away, but I feel we're just a few years away of going into these last days. Maybe even months. Uh, I'm not putting a time or a limit, but we need to prepare for the, the persecution, for the situation that is coming. 
and I do believe personally it's a little ways off. Like this is a time like Joseph in the Bible had of preparation. I believe that's right now is a time of preparation for the storm, for the for the the winds, for the for the end times that are upon us in in in, in this uh, coming season. However, right now I believe we are coming into a time of harvest. I believe that even though it looks dark for the church, I believe again for that turnaround for the church, and we're going to begin to see souls come to Jesus. I believe that is the season that we're in. God's all about souls and witnessing, and people are hearts are going to be open. There's going to be a, a wide openness uh, to share the gospel. We're already seeing that right now. This pandemic has caused people to uh, to be sensitive to the things of God and, uh, and, and to be open to hearing and, to, and open to having people pray for them. And so I would say to you that in the next year, in this year, in the next year beyond that, it's a time to talk to people about Jesus and they will be more receptive, family members, neighbors, coworkers, people at Walmart, people in, in the grocery stores. It's a time to share Christ like never before and believe for miracles, all right? Uh, Paul says that um, uh, uh, he dies daily. In Corinthians uh, 15, he says, I die daily. And so there's going to come a time that we need to start uh, uh, laying down our lives, picking up our cross for the Lord and living for Christ. And so in summer, I just want to uh, bring this all together. It's a time for a turnaround. Hallelujah. Anybody ready for a turnaround? It's time for a turnaround, especially for the church, especially for the people of God, the real believers, we're going to see a turnaround, all right? Uh, second would be prepare. Prepare your hearts. Draw close to the Lord. It's a time to repent. It's time uh, to remember. He told me, and, and he told me to tell you, he is coming soon. So prepare your hearts for his soon return. Third, it's harvest time. It's going to be glorious. Over the next few weeks, months, even years, we're going to see many people come to Jesus. It's going to be absolutely amazing. We're going to see signs, wonders, and miracles like you've never seen before. All right. Uh, lately, I've been seeing, some of you know about the glory dust, the gold dust. I've been seeing it on my hands. I've been seeing it in my Bible. I've been seeing it for the last few months. Uh, and, and what uh, the glory dust represents is in, a, in a, the uh, Jewish wedding custom was they would not know when the father would call the marriage to be, but before the last gift he would give his bride is some glory, but some gold. And so I believe the Lord is telling us through this sign and wonder, these miracles of gold dust, that God is coming soon. Let's get ready. Finally, let me just share this verse, John 10.10. 10. The thief comes to steal, to rob, and destroy. This pandemic, we're seeing businesses destroyed. We're seeing lives taken. We're seeing a uh, 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 peace being removed and fear being uh, given. Uh, let me tell you that the second part of that verse is where we need to live. And we need to be encouraged. All right? Jesus says, I have come to give you life and to give it to the full. That life is Zoe. That's life right now. Later in that same chapter, he talks about eternal life and that no one will snatch us out of his hands. But this verse right here is talking about life right now. God has got our life right now. He's got your life right now. Be encouraged, saints. The best is yet to come. God's coming back for a glorious church. Hallelujah. God bless you. Happy New Year. On behalf of everyone here at Eagle Worldwide Ministries, thank you so much for tuning in to be a part of our watch night service tonight. We hope these prophetic words are definitely touching your heart and stirring something within you. So now we're going to go to a word from our very own Ashley Almas. Now, Ashley has been a daughter in the house for about 20 years. Um, she's, she's very near and dear to Eagle Worldwide Ministries. Now, she's also our administrator for the International Coalition of Prophetic Leaders. So let's go to Ashley now, see what she has to say. As I was seeking the Lord for his heart for the year 2021, 
I began to feel a beat in the spirit. And that beat turned into a two-beat thud like a heartbeat. And the Lord brought me into a vision where I saw situations begin to shift and transition at the sound of the beat. And I began to see nations on a map begin to split apart and to connect to different nations. And I saw flags begin to rip and prepare to connect to different flag. And I saw some provinces and some states and some countries begin to bounce with the heartbeat of the Lord. Where other places, the movement was very small. And I saw different people changing and making changes geographically. And I hear the Lord say that 2021 is going to be a year of prophetic positioning. He is preparing and positioning nations and people groups and ministries for what, is he, for what he is about to do. And there are some people that he is calling to transition. There are some people that he's calling you to go to the next level, but because of old behavior patterns and mindsets, you feel stuck. And if that's you, I just want you to put your hand on your heart right now. And Father, in the name of Jesus, I lift up everyone who's stuck in transition right now. Father, I bind the spirits of fear right now and domination and control. I bind worry and nervousness right now in the name of Jesus. I bind Jezebelic spirits that are blocking prophetic positioning happening over your people and over your remnant right now in Jesus' name. And I break its hold and I break its power right now in the name of Jesus. Now just begin to cut loose of those old soul ties. And you know the things that your heart is tied to. You know the things that are causing you to be stuck. Begin to lift them up to the Lord. And I bind and I break every ungodly soul tie high right now over your remnant in the name of Jesus. And I hear the Lord saying begin to pick it up and walk on. The Lord says you might feel the residue of that last season and you might still feel the sting, but he says pick up and walk on. He says because it's a moment that I'm transitioning you. He says I'm a moment that I'm transitioning you into power, into new glory, into new uh, blueprints of success. He says but in the remnant of the body right now I'm prophetically transitioning you for new power and new growth. And I said, Lord, what's the word of the Lord for Eagle Worldwide Ministries? And he said, some are transitioning. Some I'm setting up for the next phase of their lives. Some I'm promoting. He said, but it's been a year of testing and it's been a year of trials. He says, it's been a year of where I'm testing and it's been your heart with my heart. He says, it's just about you and me. He says, I've been testing you to see if I could trust you with my secrets. Trust you with the next level. Trust you with the next level kingdom power. Trust you with next level anointing. Trust you with that next level kingdom finances. He says, 2022 is going to be a year and an hour of power. But 2021, I'm prophetically positioning you for it. And I'm creating a container of the time in the church, in the ministry, and online. I'm creating a container for the time. And the Lord took me into Judges 7. And he said, the ones that aren't dehydrated will bloom. And the ones that are not dehydrated will blossom. And in Judges 7, 10,000 went down to the water. And he began to sift the people according to how they drank. And I feel the Holy Ghost. And he said, sift them according to if they were lapping it up with their tongues like dogs. Or if they got on their knees to drink. And I believe that's the word for Eagle Worldwide Ministries in 2021. He says, with everything in your being, drink. He says, with everything in your might, drink. He says, drink with all your spirit. Drink with all your mind. Drink with all your heart. He says, it doesn't matter what you've been through. He says, where you're going is a place where you're going to need to drink. He says, you're going to need to be so saturated in the anointing. And right now, he says, in 2021, I'm dropping a plumb line of fresh and anew. And he says, you're going to know the ones that are on fire and the ones that really mean it. He says, you're going to know the ones that are dripping with the river and the ones that aren't. He says, the word of the Lord for 2021 for Eagle World 
worldwide network and partners with all of your might drink, with everything in your being, go after him. He says, I'm calling you to come closer and I'm calling the remnant into the river deeper. He says, because there's new things that are about to happen. There's new things that are about to birth. He says, there's a new glory that's going to begin to fall and there's a new power and anointing that's about to hit my church. The Lord says, when it happens, where will I find you? He says, I hope I find you by the river, lapping it up like a dog. That's the word for 2021. It's time to drink, says the Lord. We hope you have enjoyed being with us here tonight on Watch Night 2021. Hope you have enjoyed the prophetic words that have gone forth. I hope that they pierce your heart. I hope that you're able to take these and run with them in the next year. So Father, I just, uh, just as an ending prayer tonight, Lord, I pray, Lord, that every word that was spoken tonight, Father, Lord, that it resonate, Father, in our spirit. Lord, I pray right now, Father, that we act upon these words, Lord, that we're not afraid, Lord, that there's a boldness upon each one of us uh, as we go forth in this new year to boldly go and pursue everything that you want us to pursue this year. So, Lord, we give all of this to you, and we just ask, Lord, that there's blessing in the new year. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, we're so glad um, that we're going into the new year. Don't forget, we have uh, brand new YouTube channels coming up uh, for Eagle Worldwide and for the International Coalition of Prophetic Leaders. Also, you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. So make sure that you stay connected with us, and we'll see you in the new year. Bye for now. We would like to say a special thank you to the partners and friends that have joined us tonight for our first ever online event. Your continued faithfulness to Eagle Worldwide Ministries is appreciated beyond words. And don't forget, Winter Camp 2021 Pursue and Recover All is just around the corner. Make plans to join us now, either in person or online, by registering for this event at eagleworldwide.com. Guest speakers will include our very own Dr. Russ and Pastor Maeve Moyer, Glenn and Debbie Garland from Calvary Pentecostal Tabernacle, also Lydia Morrow from Shake the Nations Ministries, Gail and Shelley Sheehan from Christian International, Ashley Almas from the International Coalition of Prophetic Leaders, as well as Daniel Soto from Levite Ministries. Everyone must register for this event, whether watching online or in person, and make sure to do that quickly to reserve your seat today. Would you like to partner with Eagle Worldwide Ministries? Then send us an email with the word partner to usa at eagleworldwide.com. There are four different ways to partner with us, from silver, gold, platinum, and diamond memberships. One of our team members will contact you shortly after sending your email to walk you through our Covenant Partner Program and answer any questions that you may have. To learn more about Eagle Worldwide Ministries, follow us on our social media platforms of Instagram, Facebook, and make sure to check out our brand new YouTube channel that will be launching in the spring of 2021. And lastly, to find an Eagle Worldwide Ministries church near you or to contact one of our offices in Canada or the U.S., visit our website at eagleworldwide.com. Thanks again for watching. God bless, Happy New Year, and good night.